All right, here we go. What's up? Hey, you. <laughs> hey, no, hey, girl, hey. Hey, girl, hey. Hey, what's up, boys? How y'all doing? Well, we we want to respond to some drama here. Move that over, set it down. At the uh, talk about, I mean, what truck stop are we at? <laughs> We're at the Love's Truck Stop in Loxley, Alabama. Okay. <laughs> The south sure. side of the interstate up there on the side of the road, dog butt, you know, come on, raise up on the side thing right there. English, please. <laughs> <laughs> we need a truck stop. Okay, yeah. baby. Anyway. Um, so, a lot of fucking drama going on uh, today. I've. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, you cooked amazing steaks for dinner for I me. I know. I'm and so glad. And stuffed mushrooms. It was amazing. Oh, my God, it's better than going out to eat. It's way. Thank you. I'm in You're love with you. You're very welcome. I love but, you. But, um,. Too. Been having a lot of stuff go on. I wonder if they did you, has anybody noticed the boss up shirts I made? The boss up no, it says girl boss and hustle in backwards letters. That was fun. That was fun. I want I a, want those boss up on education shirts to come out. Yeah. Cause like I said that how many years ago did I tell uh, Tina that she needed? Cause she used to call herself the boss. Yeah. And that used to irritate me. So I used to tell her she needed to boss up on some education because I've seen her comments on your videos. I've seen her text messages to you. Mm. And I'm like, who the fuck is this fucking lady? <laughs> like, her, like, is this even talk to so text? So boss up came from you? I mean, <laughs> I think it did. But she'll never, like, I'll never get credit for it. You know, but yeah, I used it was to specifically until you said tell boss her up on some education that they yeah, started. Yeah, well, with the you know, up. back in the day, see, they only hear Tina go live. They don't know about the Tina that used to be in Munchkin Land. They don't know about the Tina that used to text message people or Yahoo message people or the Tina that used to comment on your videos and text message you because you guys had each other's phone numbers. And I remember before I even came to YouTube, you would show me this shit, and I'm like, what grade level is this lady? Like, is this, like, is she drunk? And you used to weird. swear to me she was sober, and I'm like, no sober human being would type this way. Period. Well, besides... Because I actually use periods. Besides all she that... Does not. Besides all that... How many times over these past few years have we heard her talk about her talk, putting something up her butt? Oh my God! This <laughs> upper ass. Because Isaac brought has, has <laughs> Isaac brought this finger up her butt, and now we were listening to something earlier well, about the lollipop. Yeah, yeah. About five months ago, I think it was a stream from May. If you go to her channel, it's on her fucking channel about lollipops being shoved up her ass. And we actually remember a few months ago, you and I were chilling. And we were kind of listening to her one of her streams, and, like, I know a lot of people know this, as we've been docked several times. We live in a beach town, and she was saying that she does not go to the beach because she doesn't like things being shoved up her ass. And I was like, what in the entire fuck? Like, how many times, I think I've been to the beach more times than anybody on YouTube, I live in a beach town. Yeah, we, we never we in the history day. of ever mm -hmm. have I ever had anything shoved up my ass at the beach. And the LBG, the LGBT community is very big around this area, and uh, especially Memorial Day weekend, yeah, we turn Pride up. Weekend. Pride and I've never had a problem with nobody trying to nobody trying yeah, to shove up my butt. Yeah, even when the gays are here, we don't get <laughs> shit shoved up our ass at all. Like it just does not happen. I've never had to worry about anything being shoved up my ass and I've been lit at the beach. I've been to every bushwhacker festival, <laughs> drank every Bacardi yeah, I 151. That day she goes, I don't go to the beach cuz I I don't want people shoving up stuff up my butt or something like that. And I'm like, "What?" Like, <laughs> every what time I go, do you go every to? time I go somebody tries to stick something up my ass. What? <laughs> But uh, she does. She, you know what it is? It's like she has this weird obsession with anal. Is it because she has a penis? I don't know. I mean, because I wonder. Because she did come out and say she was a hermaphrodite. We yeah. we have that video. So, like, what is her weird obsession with things being shoved up her butt? Is it because she likes anal sex because she has a dick? I don't know. We're, we're speculating at this point, allegedly, because allegedly because. We're but just going by what the actually, she has said. Actually, it's not allegedly we're, because we're, she said no, these things. We are saying that for legal reasons because we're not we're not defaming her anymore. Look, we're, we're saying what she her, she has a pattern live, of using her words. She went live and said that she cried to her mom on the phone about being a hermaphrodite. Oh no, and I know said that. Is she male no. or female? 
I was talking about some other stuff. We're, we're just reacting to what she said and asking questions and speculating on that. Yeah, Tina, I, explain to us why you like things shoved up your butt. <laughs> Is it because you have a penis? Because then tomorrow she'll go live and say we're, somebody's defaming her character and, and slandering her name. But then, if y'all pay attention when she says this, like tonight she was named, and five seconds later, she was slandering Nikki. And defaming Nikki herself. Well, you know what? Let's yeah. talk and about... And Jen, as well. well. In the same... Within five minutes. Okay. Enough of those people. Let's talk about the slander about us. Yeah, we've discussed it so many times. I'm you were a before. bank robber. I'm a bank robber. You're a hacker. My name is Jesse James. You robbed her for <laughs> thousands. 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 I'm Heisenberg. You know, <laughs> you you did, when you started YouTube, you did what many other people on YouTube do. You play clips of certain people's videos, and your son, he's an Angry Grandpa fan. That's yeah, when it, when I met grandpa. him, that's how you figured... Thank you, AGP, I got to carve a pumpkin. I know. So, <laughs> like, you know, you play a snippet of her video, and it actually wasn't even her video, it was Kruger's, because Kruger asked you to take it down, so you did. Yes. So, so Tuna went on this rampage of everybody robs her because she should be making millions of dollars and she's the star of the show. And you donated 200 to her GoFundMe to sue Charlie Chill. Yeah. That's another thing that she doesn't like bringing she up besides Munchkin Land. That. She doesn't want to yeah. talk about that GoFundMe. There's certain things that she gets really defensive about that and Munchkin Land. Like they got. First, they were they didn't want to discuss it at all. They tried to be evasive about the whole Munchkin Land topic, and now they're being really defensive for some reason. Got they really went on straight defense. Right, because we we brought up Munchkin Land before. Yes, yeah, we brought up several times over right. the years. You know that the people that know about it. So when you think of a Yahoo group and its name Munchkin Land, what does your mind think of? I have no clue because. Uh, well, I'll explain to you because we, I just got to say we live in an LGBT community. What was the name of the club that was downtown? Emerald City? Yes. Anything to do with Wizard of Oz. I'm like, I ain't going near that shit because them, them dudes love right. Judy Garland. I don't, well, I, we're, so we're there's funny. so many. There's so many. We're uh, also in the South. Then also, you know, I get like a Pink Floyd type situation where. And if you really know the story of the Wizard of Oz, I'm just telling you my brain works in weird ways. So Munchkin Land does not really go okay, well, it off. For most of us other people. Especially as Southern people, when we think Munchkin, we think of something we call our children. You know, come here, Munchkin. You know, yeah. it's, it's it's what you call children is Munchkins. Yeah. I mean, it has nothing to do with Wizard of Oz. It has nothing to do with like, you know, short people. Did Full House start with that? Yeah, because the, the, the Michelle character didn't they call her Munchkin? Something like that. Because she was a child. Okay. So when you think of Munchkin Land, I think of children. Yeah. You know, do I think it's a little odd that a grown ass lady? Well, maybe she was looking for some clout back there then. There were several people in that group, and I don't know exactly what the group was formed for or nothing. Well, I think that it turned into maybe a Munchkin Land would be kids talking about the Angry Grandpa show because he has a lot of children fans. Yeah. So let's see. If you're Tuna and you don't have any clout on YouTube yet. Yeah. And you want to ride out into this, I'm famous. Yeah. And, you know, maybe she would be in a Munchkin Land group trying to get some clout off of some kids, well, thinking she's some kind of celebrity. Now their story is that was her and Brandon were um, getting in together and lying to the other people in the group about what was going on. And it was all lies and it was all shade that was made up on purpose. But actually the people that they were talking to, what... That they were given the, that Tina was given the lie to wasn't through the Munchkin Land group, so that's a lie in itself. And it, they know, were they were texting and calling on the phone back and forth with the people she was giving the lies to. I heard Brandon's little fucking shit earlier. He was like, <laughs> "That wasn't a Yahoo group. It was a Messenger group." Uh, da no. bitch, Yahoo Messenger. I mean, that was a big thing back. In the day, a lot of people had Yahoo Messenger. Like, it's yeah. not like that, you know, we didn't have Face. We might have had Facebook Messenger like then, but Yahoo was still the thing. It was still a big thing. Yeah, I mean, I used Yahoo Messenger all the way up to, like, around 2016 at some point. I just feel like... I think like, they just now stopped, you know, offering support for it. Tuna, like, if you ever row. listen to anybody, listen to me. Girl, stop talking to uneducated 
morons about your lies that will just co-sign and because a lot of your people over there they want you to look stupid they want you to sit up there and lie so isaac can be like oh well, bitch is lying again don't give it advice get, that Isaac's no lying. no no get with some <laughs> smart people fact check your lies make sure it's possible and make sure that can't nobody come out with some evidence Proving you wrong because that's what's like gonna happen. Like snake in a box, and <laughs> you know, five guys showing up to your trailer park giving you food because they were probably from the food bank or the church. I mean, seriously, lady, like get with some. See, this is what irritates me about her, like kicking Carrie and Big Kiss and them. You know, because they were actually shout smart out to people. Carrie and Big Kiss. Love you guys. And let's talk about the slander of Carrie. Okay, your friend. Who, somebody that supported you, that rolled for you, that cared about you, that cared about your real life. You talked shit behind her back. You called her a bad mom. You said that she was selling uh, her prescription medication. Like, I don't know. You guys don't. Miss Carrie is probably one of the nicest, most incredible people that I've ever met from yeah. YouTube. A couple years ago, she had a major back surgery. Like, it was pretty pretty hard on her body. And she got prescribed a certain prescription drug. What's it called? Fentanyl. Fentanyl. And yeah. she um, made the mistake of being honest with Tuna about it. Like, hey, I've had this back surgery. Now I'm getting fentanyl. Tina was so jealous of the fact that, that Carrie had gotten prescribed fentanyl. I mean, because, let's be honest, no no doctor is going to prescribe tuna fentanyl because she has a history of drug abuse. Well, fentanyl is one of them drugs. They're not going to prescribe you unless you have to have to have it. There's you have to have that, it. And you know, it's, it's not rare, rare, but I mean, it's... And when she told Tuna this, the first thing out of Tuna's mouth was, oh, girl, you can sell that shit. Like, Tuna wanted to buy it? <laughs> well, like, Tuna wanted to buy it, and that's what Tuna would do. So she knew that she said this, so she turned around and said that Carrie was selling her prescriptions, and she said it to two different people that don't like each other, Kruger and Briggs, and those people went back and said this shit to Carrie, and Carrie is a very sensitive person. She was, like, really upset about this. She because, was. I remember when she was upset well, about it. Well, you know, part of the reason is because Carrie had weaned off of the fentanyl and Carrie still she went to a surgeon just yesterday she deals with pain she will be in pain for the rest of her life so tuna is mocking this woman's pain you know by thinking that she's just some drug addicted junkie like herself because tuna likes to deflect the shit she would do onto other people anybody who's around this block knows that's not Carrie at you know all Carrie. That's not even well Carrie. even tuna does because tuna will bring her name up Tuna will lie on her, and then Tuna will turn around and, you know, instead of being like, I said it, I did it, I apologize, she'll be like, Carrie's the greatest woman I've ever met. Don't be talking about Carrie. You know, Carrie's a great well, the, woman. The video evidence is on your well, channel right now. the video evidence is on my channel. Yeah, where it's the other day where she just said, said she didn't do it, and then she did do it, and then... <coughs> There's so many conflicting. There's no tuna can straighten up and do whatever right now and do right, but it can't. She can't. And if do you want to know the honest truth, tuna, I know that you get jealous that Carrie didn't run back to the cult over there, and the main reason why is because you never really apologized to her. You will tell her stuff like, "Well, Carrie, you wouldn't believe what people say about me. You, you know, this shit happens to me. I've had so many people do this to me and that to me." Carrie's never done anything to you, Tuna, and sometimes when you're wrong and you do something wrong and you feel remorse for it and guilty for it, you turn around and you say, you know what, I fucked up and I'm sorry. But that's something that you never do. You that never apologize to me, to me for dragging my kids, dragging my ex-husband, dragging my family life. You know, and let's talk about the bullying of me, Tuna. You know, I have a history of um, committing suicide or trying to commit suicide. I was in a mental hospital and have worked really fucking hard to fight depression, anxiety, and where some people might find like um, 
admiration and the goals that I've achieved and, and moving out of that, you bully me. And I, I can tell you right now, if I were still just as depressed as I was back when I tried to commit suicide, and I'm not only getting bullied by some fucking crazy lady on the internet, but all of her little cult members, it might would have driven me to want to harm myself. Yeah, no, most don't know real life what goes on in everybody's real life problems every day as it goes along today. Because sometimes you you realize she brought my real life to YouTube when I've never I'm just brought the everyday, her. You know stuff that goes on. In it's our true. Life. People there. have no clue what I've been through in my life. She has no clue. And you know what? Even if she did, she don't care. This woman is a narcissist. She lacks empathy <laughs> for other people. All she does is fucking bully people on the internet, cry that she's a victim, and drop her PayPal link, let's be honest. <laughs> you know? But yet, you don't want to talk about the people that you've bullied and you've harassed. I've never done well, anything to you. That's what happened earlier tonight. She's like, you bully and slander my name. But they turned around and bullied and slandered some like two other people, not more than, less than five seconds later. And let's talk about that wolf motherfucker. Like, what the he's hell? He's 12 years old. He's got to be 12, 14, 15, somewhere around. I'm going to give you some <laughs> advice, Wolf. If you want to make people think that you're a grown man or somebody that has some actual intelligence, think about what you, you want to type before you actually type it. Because all you want to talk about is, like, shitting, pussy... Uh, what what else does he talk about? I don't know. He Twat had, waffles. I think I won because he blocked me, so I can't read anything. Yeah, he, he said. blocked me too. I he, mean, it's I don't even like, realize he's in the chat till I heard somebody bring him up or say something. I'm like, wait, he's in here too, and I don't even because right. I'm blocked. But he'll never battle me on a panel. He'll talk shit about me in a chat. That's why we're blocked, so we can't battle him in words and verbal on. Uh, well, because a he's not educated enough to actually battle back with words. We won. <laughs> yeah, that's winning. That is called winning. I mean, you're so pathetic. Like, I hope that Angie did move on from your stupid... But you know what? I mean, all that chick talked about was her big old dick and sucking her big fat dick. And, you know, I mean, maybe you two belong together. Maybe. Because it's just yeah. gross. I, I, mean, think, yeah, I think he's like 12 or 15 years old. I mean, I seriously <laughs> do. From what I've seen when he types, it looks like a 12 or 15 year old wrote it. I mean, it's... The insults are really But have grotesque. you ever thought maybe that he is a grown man and he's just, like, had either some brain damage or something to where he's not on the same level as other adults, so he hides behind this mystique of, I live in, you know, uh, where does he supposedly live in? Thailand. Thailand. You know, so people don't find out who he truly is because he's he's and obviously I'll, got something wrong I'll with his brain. I'll bring up this point again, too. You know how many crypto conferences they have in Thailand every year? Every and year. They, and they live stream from there every year without a problem. Every year. There's always a live stream from Thailand going on. There's a lot of crypto enthusiasts in Thailand. You know, and I'm sure there's a lot Justin of Justin Sun, I think, people. who invented Tron. And, uh, he invented Tron, yeah. He, you know he is one of the biggest oh, sorry, ones. I believe he is in Thailand, and he live streams, and he's on Twitter, and he has no problem with the internet. Uses. Didn't Wolf, like, rehash one of your jokes in a stream, like, right after we <laughs> went live? And you know I, what's funny? I was watching his stream tonight, and, like, I was in a stream the other day where they were talking about, you know, they were naming, like, a bowel movement after somebody they didn't like. Like, I went and took a big uh, tuna in my toilet. <laughs> And, like, he rehashed that joke tonight, and it's just like... It's you know, I gotta give credit where credit due. You know the first person ever did that was Cal Pote. Right. Cal Pote started that. You know, and ever since then... But I love it when they find something funny, and then they go back and they do it, but it's just like, bitch, can you come up with one original idea? Like, well, just what, that one. That was the one day I was telling him... I was, I was trying to tell him about, about Isaac when he kept calling him a fat ass. I was like, dude... Can't you come up with something more creative than that? I think the man knows. I know, right? <laughs> you know? Like, like, honestly, Isaac kind of lives for a good fat joke. I mean, I know, he I've made heard one him laugh on about him. It. I know, he made one on himself. He was on a panel with um, Lisa Lynn, me, and Abe and shit like that. And, and uh, Abe was like, <sighs> battle rap, I don't know. But he was out of breath. He's like, dude, I'm the fat one and I'm not even out of breath. Yeah. Or something, and I I'm was living for I'm not saying I'm for, it. for Isaac, but I can understand. But that was clever. You know, I mean... 
even when somebody comes up to me, I want something intelligent. You can call me a redneck or a hillbilly. Okay, fine. You know, I mean, that's my name. I mean, come on. Uh, it's just... I just find the insults to be really <laughs> cheesy and very, like, they low get class. So low class and gutter too fast, too quick. And it's like red twat waffle and like what are you serious dude you can't come up with something better you can't come up with a, a logical thought but you know what's funny is they can't say anything that i've oh no wait i drank oh. on a stream one time and now i'm the biggest alcoholic of youtube that's every there's there's a youtube drinking community okay exactly I mean, go over there shout out wanna, troy <laughs> troy yeah he's coming to me man he's coming to me he's coming exactly. he's coming to me it's just so fucking ridiculous. I mean, I, I just, I almost pity those people. It's like, you know, they don't want to be, you know, Tuna already called them retards, okay? And then you have people like Wolf in that chat and the other people, and it's just like, I feel like they can be picked apart so easily. And it, it's just, I know some of them are smarter than that. It's like, you can't, you can't say anything to me that I've ever done. You can't battle me with facts. You can't battle me with wit. So you have to do like low life, like I took a Kara, and my dog took a Kara on the the, the grass. I mean, it's like bitch. <clears throat> that, I, that that's all I was got me, and I've told you that when they start going that way, you've already won because they have nothing to come back. back but you got any big beforehand? I tell you what, Wolf. You you like to like watch YouTube a lot. Go find some comedians you like. Listen to some good jokes. Like come up with something clever. Like, don't just say the same fucking shit. Like, it, it just makes you... Like, you're trying to act like you're a grown man and you're helping children and building houses. Well, fucking be a grown man, dude. Don't, don't, If you're like, a man, then why am I blocked? <laughs> I know, right? It shouldn't matter. <laughs> but Tuna's his sis. And you want to say, I've been obsessed for three years? I don't fucking claim people that I don't know on the internet as Tuna, my family Tuna members. Tuna called him out today and said he only been around a year. I know, and, and he, he said he's been around for like three. three or four years or some bull crap. I'm like, okay. Where were you when Munchkinland was there, huh, buddy? Yeah, you weren't around for that, mm. were you, bitch? That was a surprise to you. Right. You didn't know nothing about Munchkin when it came but out tonight. But that's cool because our three-year info that's now coming back and fucking triggering the fuck out of your boss over there is, uh, you know, well-deserved. You know, because, you know, you, you're you the one that passed off that tip on Munchkin Land. Yeah. I, I told a few people, and I and I was in the chat, in Isaac's chat, I'm like, you notice how they don't want to talk about Munchkin Land ever? And a few days later, I, I guess Isaac dug into it and found that there was some truth to that. And knew there was some truth was to up. it, just like with the Charlie Chill suing him. Because she didn't refund anybody's money that she was supposed to sue Charlie Chill and with. I'll say this, you, you're like... You should have never lied on me. She, Tuna should have never said some lies about me. She should have never made up shit about me. I don't right. care. I, you want some information, I'll give it to you. <laughs> like when she went to Kruger's stream and said you were trying to get titty pics and titty pictures of Lisa yeah. Wynn and, and that never me, happened. Me, you and Isaac was on a live stream the other night with Lisa Wynn and Lisa Wynn straight up said that never happened. That is a straight up lie. But you say <laughs> you don't fuck with people. Even though you tried to fuck with my relationship. <sighs> you know, you've done a lot of shit to people. And then when they fight back... Because they don't want to be bullied by some old fat lady on the internet. Shout out to Peggle and Lisa Lynn. Yeah, shout out to them. We Love you guys. It, it's just ridiculous. You know, Peggle tried to help you out. You fucked with him. I, I can't even tell you how many people you have fucked with on this tier. I don't know how many times you fucked with Papa Grizz. Talking about snake in the boxes and shit like that. And that's when I first started getting trolled by all your cult members. So, yeah, I was going to get pissed off and retaliate. But yes. when people talk shit on you, it is to retaliate against the shit you, you say about them. you go back and find the original videos when she Who first started Shannon Ray Little. Yeah. Well, if you came back and found the, found the original videos when she came on YouTube, it was the same story, but it was Charlotte Chill, not Isaac. Exactly. How she was bullied and that this was happening. And it was way back then. Somebody was starting to shoot her in a trailer. She was living in a tent outside. All that kind of bullshit. It was the same stuff. It was the same... Script. See, I've been saying that, and I know Wolf likes to recycle this when he was mad at Tuna. You know, it's the same story, the characters change. And I know that Wolf has said that before, but he got that from me. Have an original thought, bruh. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> but, 
And that's how the story goes. I mean, this and is everybody same. that stole from her. See, that's why Carrie. That's why I tell you, you fucking people would boss up. Do not ever agree to do her merchandise because every single fucking person. I mean, you can give her merchandise, but don't like run her accounts. You know. Yeah, don't do it because you'll get accused of stealing. If Carrie wouldn't have been smart enough to like take screenshots. She was trying to accuse Carrie of stealing. And Carrie's the type of person that she'll give you money, not take your money. Yeah, you're right. And it just makes me sick that she will slander this person. Because Carrie is probably, like, one of the best mothers I've ever met. She's one of the... Has the biggest heart I've ever seen. She is. She's, She's a wonderful never lady. talked shit on Tina. I've known her for years. And she, she probably has... A lot of personal things that they've talked about in yeah. private. She's never once told us any I've had of that. Plenty of private she wants conversations to just, with Carrie and, uh, She's just she's she's in pain a lot. She has, you know, um, severe back problems. She just went to the surgeon today. She has a kidney disease. She's going through a lot. So when people go live, she's gonna go and chat. Like she just likes to like chat hop. And, like, talk to everybody. She's not there to stir shit up or to say shit about people. But, Tuna, you get so jealous every time you see her in a chat of somebody you don't like because you're running a cult over there. If one of your people is somewhere that you don't say is okay, you call for the boss up out on them. And that's ridiculous. Like, these are grown folks. People should be able to go wherever the fuck they want to go. True. I've been playing private conversations with Carrie. And it's more, probably more or less like... About my T-shirts that I make, and I show them to her, and she says how she likes them, and she's she's you know, like we, that person. We bounce ideas off each other with things and stuff. She's that person that if your kid is sick, she's gonna send you a get well card for your child. If if you're feeling down that day, she's gonna give you that word of encouragement to make you feel better, even though she's in a lot of pain and going through a lot of stuff herself. Well, my point was I've had a lot of conversations with her outside YouTube, not even talking about YouTube. Exactly. You know, there's plenty of time, and and big kiss too. You know? Yeah, he's a great <laughs> he's got, guy. He sent a he sent a prank video the other day that's hilarious. I know it was so funny. But um. But it's just sad that these people get slandered because they no longer wanted to be a part of the cult. Because that's what happens if you're in the cult and you leave. They will drag your name. They will slander you. They will talk about you. Character assassinate you. Exactly. Yeah. I, I, we need to go back and find these old videos from when she first came out. She was talking about Charlie Jill and play them and be like, okay, replace the name from Charlie to, to, Isaac. to Isaac. And it'll be the same thing. It's the same story, just the character change. Yeah, just I probably same. have some of those videos, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, I wonder if I do or not. I have to look and see. Because I've had two or three laptops since then. And Tuna, if you don't think like info from the Munchkin Land shit ain't going to come out and make you look like a big fat liar. Well, You're they are, wrong. They already said that, you know, that the, there was audio that like was leaked you, and you stuff. You might as well go ahead and just fucking From what own I've up heard, to something. That there's quite a bit of stuff out there. I, somebody sent me something the other day. I was like, wow, where wow. did this come from? Yeah, me too. I, I think you like, put stuff to it. I'm just I like, can't wait for this to come out in the public. That was awesome. And it's uh, just a shame that you just sit there and lie it's to It's amazing what I can get his hands on. You know well, what the people send him. I mean, it is amazing how far deep... This it's because they don't like liars. And she kept asking, why would somebody write Isaac a letter from so many states and live in Trump? Why would somebody do that? Why? Because they hate you, Tuna. That's why. <laughs> because you're you're a fucking you stabbed leech, somebody in the back. And you've stabbed so many people in the back and you scam people. And it just makes me sad at some of the folks that I've seen over there lately that Tuna is responsible for really hurting these people. And I hope Isaac keeps coming out with the contradictory terms. I didn't call CPS. I did call CPS. I allowed kids in my house. I don't. There's never been a kid in my house. You know, there, there's. Con she contradicts herself within five minutes on a stream. I mean, it's. It, it, I could do this every day. Yeah, you could. I could. I could sit there and watch a stream, and pick out every time she's contradicted herself, and every time she lies and looks stupid. But it gets. You know, who has the time for that? Yeah, it is. You can start brand new, fresh today without new old stuff, and and you can start off today. And by next six months from now, you'd have a you'd have a because people don't know. Fold. In the beginning, when I was new to YouTube, I used to do exactly that. Because mm -hmm. I caught her up in the whole she wasn't in pain management, she wasn't on no drugs, all she took was amitriptyline, and 
and clonidine and then you know then she would go back and be like well i'm in pain management well, I, I or no she would say she was getting piss tested and i'm like for what what why are you getting piss tested lady and then she came clean with the whole she was in pain management because yeah. i'm like they don't just piss test you for no fucking reason well, i have an idea of what, what me and you talked about earlier about some contradictory things we we've seen and heard and i may put the video on this channel just to you know about what she was some things she was saying And, uh, uh, some legal stuff, you know. I need to go look up some legal definitions of some of the things you were saying. I really and think I wanna you up, should. And I want to out that, you know. I mean, a lot of stuff is kind of contradictory, and you say one thing, but the way you're talking, it, you, you're putting yourself in a bad spot. See, I feel she like thinks she's, she's defending really, herself, but she's digging her hole deeper. She's really intimidated by some of us that have been around for a few years that have heard all the shit that she has said before. Yeah. You know, because we, we've heard so much bullshit over the years. Yeah. And sad to say, that's what this area of YouTube normally is, is nothing but bullshit. You know, if Tita would just apologize and quit fucking with people and it's quit lying possible. about doxing people, you doxed a troll, you doxed Shannon Ray Little, you went and looked for Bishop's information, you know, you, you, you sat, you said you don't dox people, but you sat on my fucking Facebook looking at my, my kids' pictures, my, um, sister's kids' pictures, redneck's kids' pictures. For what, lady? Like, why would you do that? You know, I... We own a Waffle House. Yeah, my ex is in prison, supposedly. I like owning a Waffle House, man. We're at I the wish Waffle that lie House right stuck. now. I wish that lie would have stuck, man. I want to own a Waffle House. I know. I need to tell I don't my put down, I don't family put, members that own this Waffle House they need to upgrade their Wi-Fi <laughs> package. I don't put down nobody for owning a Waffle House. Do you know, if you knew what you had to go through to own a Waffle House, that is some horrible ass crap. See, I don't like to put down anybody for anything. You know? Well, one thing, I'll, I'll take it in, in this one thing. And it was like, when Briggs would put down Cowpoke for, he said he was driving an Uber, Uber. which he doesn't. But that doesn't matter. If the man's out there you making don't money, miss anybody's hustle. If, the, if, they're, if you're out there making money, then why are you going to put it down? Maybe Tuna should drive for Uber and stop scamming people on the internet. Mm. Well, she might wind up with something up her ass, you know. I don't know. She, yeah, she might end up with some shit up her ass, or her foot's falling off, or you know, that whole foot thing is not new either. You've been talking about your foot for like three years. It's three, been, yeah. I remember her, there was something wrong with her foot or her back back when somebody wanted to go to meet it some place in the borders North Carolina, South Carolina, I forget the name of the place. Oh, yeah, it was sad <laughs> wanted to whoop her fucking yeah, ass. Yeah, she was like, I got a foot problem, and then something about something else. I don't want to go that far. But, yeah. You know, maybe your foot problem is the fact that you've gained 100 pounds this year because you're addicted to food. You didn't have a problem pushing the gas pedal go through drive through You sure didn't. <laughs> you didn't have a problem hopping around when you thought you won that lottery scratch off in that kid behind the camera video. A month ago. Well, it's like she can't pay her phone bill, but she's getting food off of the Schwann's truck. truck. Schwann's oh my. truck. Now, one day she's like, a Schwann's come and brought the ice cream. We order ice cream off the Schwann's truck. Then five minutes later, I can't pay my phone bill. Is my PayPal link in the chat? And I'm like, oh, are you serious? You really just pulled this well, off? Well, you know, her phone bill's in her daddy's name. It ain't even in her name. Yeah. Because she wanted James Parker to call and pretend to be the dad to get her phone number changed for free <laughs> because she couldn't do it because it was in her daddy's name. Wow. Mm. But you want to fuck with people, Tuna. And I just, I hate to see the people that have been bullied by you over there in your chats when you've hurt so many people. What's been going on Good thirty something minutes. I think it's time we gotta get going. Yeah, we gotta move on down to the next truck stop. Yep, it's, it's raining and we gotta get going. But I love you. I love you too. What else you wanna say? Um. Anything else? What do you think? Up to you. <laughs> we can let it go for another time. We can let it go. But I love you, and we'll talk to y'all later. We out.